Hello YouTubers, it's a guy Terrell83 here with another short video, a DUI, a free video of how to fix your flickering screen on your Jaguar. This is my 2009 Jaguar and I'm going to show you how to bypass the Bluetooth module, I guess the series radio that got your, have your screen flickering in your Jaguar. First thing I'm gonna need you to do is to locate the four bolts that's holding the seat down. You have to pop this off and also maybe pop this off. And once you locate the bottom of the seat, you fold your carpet back to locate the Bluetooth box and uh, Siri radio box. And I'm going to show you how to bypass that free fix. One minute, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, once you have located the bottom of your seat of your Jaguar and fold the carpet back, you will see two boxes that look like this. One like this and one like this. And they will be connected with wires like this. What you want to do is you can either fully remove the boxes or you can leave them screwed in. Just make sure... You can, if your box still work, well, you wouldn't, wouldn't really know, but as you can see, mine didn't. There's all corrosion everywhere. So, I took all the plugs out, unplugged everything from these two boxes, everything from those boxes. These are most of the wires. Two of them, I mean, one of them I still have in the car, because I'm going to show you what I did to put it back in the car without using these you can bypass these you don't really need these so these are why these are out of my car it's nothing in there nothing under the seat no boxes so what you want to do is you want to take your i have i'm using a small knife to basically you want to want to lift this clip up it's a little bitty white clip so can i focus on it Okay, anyway, this clip right here will be flat. You take your knife or whatever you're gonna use, you have to put it under here and lift it up. It will come up a little. And then just once we wanna do is flip this over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Flip this over, you will see these two clips right here. You wanna reach up under here, lift this up and pull out. Can I get it? Okay, you want to lift that up and then you're going to pull one of these out. See? Just like that. <clears throat> the other end, do the same thing. You can basically pull it out of one of these. Let me get it right. Give me one minute. Okay, like this end, this right here, I disconnected from this, which is this, and you can take this part out of here by lifting up on the end, on this side right here. Once you lift up on that side, this little piece, this little clip right here, lift it up, and you can pull this whole thing out, <clears throat> excuse me, and then what you're going to do is, unplug one of these see this would be hooked like this would be like this what you want to do is same thing you lift the little white part up which I took this one out you lift the white part up take this out now <clears throat> you have one cord one optical cord now what you're gonna do is take this I'm gonna show you real quick When you get done, you should have a cord to look like this. If you can make one of these, unplug everything from those boxes, disconnect. You can take one from either one, whichever one you want to, except this one. This is not going to need because it's just uh, another cord. It's not an optical cord. So you just want the heading part out of that. But like I said, it's a third one to where you don't have to even mess with this one. You just want to make you a loop like this. 
This is called a bypass, an optical bypass. And <clears throat> once you get back to your car under your seat, the one that the light is blinking, which will be the black plug like this, which you pull this out of, will be a black plug. Stick this in here. Put that in your black plug, just like this. Well, you know, however your car is, however your plug is, put the plug in, radio fix. You will have no more flickering screen. That is an optical bypass. Now, what I can say is I don't know what function you may lose, but you will have your screen back. You will have your rear view camera back. You will have your AC adjustment back. Uh, every other function, you have your radio back. I never, I really haven't tried the Bluetooth or the CD player or any of that. I haven't tried any of that yet. But what I do know is I have my screen back now. Just by doing this, no money spent, no going to the car lot or the shop or whatever they want to want you to go to. No buying boxes. I didn't have to buy boxes. These boxes are two and three hundred dollars a piece. No, I'm not gonna spend that. When I can simply do this free. All right, YouTubers. That was a guy. This a guy to real eighty three here with you. Uh, do with yourself free video like subscribe share help someone else out hopefully i help someone else out today y'all have a nice day deuces